Hi, my name's Hillary. I'm a marine biologist and the creator of Waterlogged. And today I want to talk to you about moon jellyfish. So Aurelia abrita or moon jellyfish have a pretty interesting life cycle. And I've had the opportunity of taking them through that full life cycle from their medusa to their polyp and all the way back to their full adult medusa stage. So sit back, relax, and let's go jellyfishing. When it comes to jellyfish, they have two different parts of their life cycle. First off is the medusa stage. Now, when you think of a jellyfish, you're probably thinking of their medusa stage, but they also have what is called a polyp stage. Now, we're going to get started, though, talking about mature adult moon jellies and work our way through their life cycle. Now, mature adult moon jellies, the males are going to release their sperm into the water column and the females can either hold on to their eggs and they'll tuck them in along their bells or they can release them. And once they release the eggs and sperm into the water column, um, hopefully they will be fertilized and growth will start. So after those cells divide, they're going to turn into what is called a planula larvae, which if you were to look at it under a microscope, would look almost like a fuzzy swimming tic-tac. Sounds kind of odd, but that's about what they look like. So for the next seven to 10 days, those planula larvae are going to swim around in the water column and look for a hard substrate to settle out on. Now, typically the areas that they settle, especially in the wild, are going to be lower flow areas and typically dark areas. But when you're culturing them in aquarium settings, um, they a lot of times are gonna be on Petri dishes that are suspended in the water, as you can see here. Now, once they settle out, um, they're not going to look like a fuzzy tic-tac anymore. They're going to turn into that polyp stage. So they're going to have that base and those feeding oral arms. And it's at first just going to be one or two, but as they mature, they can reproduce asexually. And so a whole bunch of polyps will bud off of that one initial polyp. So instead of that one or two, you're going to have a whole Petri dish and a whole tray full of jellyfish. Now, if you look closely at this picture, you can see that they're starting to turn pink in some areas, and that's a good indication that they are about to start strobilating. Typically, that pink color comes from the food that they're eating, and nutrients is one good way to get them to strobilate. So in the process of strobilation, they're going to have those oral feeding arms kind of pull back into the base of the polyp, and in its place is going to be a stack of a phyra, or soon to be a phyra, that will wave around in the water and will pop off of that polyp when they are ready. Now, if you've ever shot one of those Nerf guns that kind of shoots the little discs, the process reminds me a whole lot of that. Now, as you can see here, we do have our first little Ephyra. Now, Ephyra are getting back into that Medusa life stage of the jellyfish. So jellies are considered to be Ephyra um, as long as they are 10 millimeters or less in size. And then once they get beyond that, it's just a larger form of the Medusa. Now, jellyfish are kept in what are called chrysals. It's a special tank just for them. And you can see that first tank, you only had the one that was probably hard to see. And as time goes on, um, you get hundreds and then thousands of jellyfish. Now, this whole process of strobilation is going to occur um, just under the course of about two weeks. So at first you'll only have like one or two on the first day and then the next day you'll have a couple hundred and then it just ramps up to thousands of jellyfish um, or ephyra strobilated and swimming around every day. Now you can see if you look at this some of the jellyfish are younger they're gonna have that rudimentary form of those ephyra but some of them are actually starting to develop their bells. That's pretty cool. As jellyfish are growing, they require several different things to grow. You're gonna need to make sure that they have enough food, enough space, and really good water quality. There's a lot of different things that can affect jellyfish. Um, even something as small as an air bubble getting caught up in their bells can puncture the bell and cause it to be destroyed and rip apart. 
Now, jellyfish are only, at least moon jellyfish, are going to have a lifespan of just under two years, maybe a little bit longer if they're very well taken care of. But a lot of aquariums will culture their own jellyfish um, just because it's a very sustainable thing to do. Now, one cool thing about jellyfish that I'm going to tell you before I go is when they mutate, a lot of times you can see those genetic mutations showing up in their stomachs. The typical jellyfish is going to have four stomachs, but sometimes you get two stomachs, and in this case, six different stomachs. And it's really cool because you can see those stomachs developing even at a very, very young age of about a month and a half, and that enables you to watch them grow and go through their whole life cycle as they grow into adulthood. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it or if there's something else new you would like to see. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.